Are you struggling to pass the CPA exam? Did your review course fail to fit your learning style? I'm Darius Clark of I-75 CPA Review, the number one course supplement, where the right teacher makes all the difference. And if you want to pass BEC, you better know how a flexible budget is prepared, when it's prepared, and why. So here's a question on flexible budgeting and they want to know if a flexible budget is prepared based on actual units sold, how much would flexible budget sales revenue be? So when we prepare a flexible budget, it's important to know the master budget or what they call the static budget, same thing. The per unit amounts from the master budget are used to prepare a flexible budget. For example, if we expect to sell 10,000 units in the master budget and earn 100,000 in sales revenue, we're using a figure of $10 per unit as the sales price per unit in the master budget. And because we're using $10 per unit as the sale price in the master budget, if we make a flexible budget up, we must use that same $10 per unit as the sales price per unit. So if we do that, if we use the same $10 per unit as the sales price per unit, and we take the flexible budget which is based on actual units sold, then we'll take the 12,000 actual units sold and multiply by the per unit amounts from the master budget, which is $10 per unit selling price, and the flexible budget sales revenue should be 120,000 if we sold 12,000 units. And that's the beauty of preparing a flexible budget. So we can say that if in turn we sold 12,000 units instead of 10,000 units, how much should our sales revenue have been? It should have been $120,000. So the answer to the question is A. Then you can go beyond that for a minute and get a variance, a flexible budget sales variance, and say, since we actually sold 12,000 units for 132,000 instead of 120,000, then we have a favorable flexible budget sales revenue variance. They didn't ask about the variance in this question, but we're always anticipating the next question. That's the I-75 difference. So this question wants to know if a flexible budget is prepared based on actual units sold, how much are flexible budget variable costs? So they say step manufacturers and sells wireless headsets and the static master budget and actual results for June are as follows. So keep in mind that the word master budget and the word static budget mean exactly the same thing. Master or static budget is the planned activity for one level of sales volume, in this case, 10,000 units. So the master budget is for 10,000 units being sold at $100,000 of sales revenue or $10 per unit selling price. So if we're going to make a flexible budget, we've got to use the same per unit amounts in the flexible budget that we use to make the master budget. So we would use $10 per unit as our selling price for if we made a flexible budget. So if we were to make a flexible budget based on selling 12,000 units, then we would use $10 per unit as the selling price and our flexible budget sales revenue would be $120,000. And then we would compare it to the 132,000 and see that we have a variance that's favorable of 12,000 when it comes to sales revenue. But this question asks about the variable costs, not about the sales revenue. So we gotta go down to here and here. So in the master budget, 60,000 is the variable costs or how much per unit is that? If we're expecting to sell 10,000 units and have 60,000 of variable costs, then your variable cost per unit in the master budget is $6 per unit. And we got to keep that same $6 per unit, or you could look at it as 60% of sales, 60,000 divided by 100,000, that same $6 per unit or 60% of sales when we do the flexible budget. So that means if sales in the flexible budget are 120,000, if sales revenue in the flexible budget is 120,000, then variable costs in the flexible budget should be 60% of that or 72,000, $6 per unit, right? 12,000 units times $6 per unit. Variable costs should have been 72,000 if we make a flexible budget 
based on the same per unit amounts as the master budget. And then we would look at the actual variable cost of 70800 and we would say that we have a favorable flexible budget variable cost variance of the difference between 70800 and 72000 Now this question didn't ask about the variance, but they could on the exam, and we always anticipate the next question. That's the I-75 difference. In this question, all you had to do was be able to determine the flexible budget variable costs. And whenever you prepare a flexible budget, you use the same per unit amounts from the master budget, in this case, 60,000 divided by 100,000 or variable costs are 60% of sales revenue. So if sales revenue on the flexible budget is 120,000, then variable costs should be 72,000 or 60% of that figure. And flexible budgets are almost always made after we know what the actual results are. Because remember, the master budget was only produced showing 10,000 units being sold. So there's really no useful comparison of 10,000 units versus 12,000. If we wanna compare master budget to actual, we have to prepare a flexible budget first, knowing that there were 12,000 units actually sold, and then pulling the per unit amounts from the master budget to say that if we did sell 12,000 units, we should have had 120,000 of revenue, not 132,000. So it looks like we were able to get a better price for our goods, which is a favorable outcome. And our variable costs look like they were lower than they should have been if we were budgeting to sell 12,000 units, our variable costs should have been 72,000 and they were only 70,800 and that's a good outcome also. That would be a favorable outcome. So the things you wanna remember about flexible budgets is that they're prepared after you already know what the actual results are and you need to use the same per unit amounts from the master budget. If you need more help with flexible budgeting or any part of the BEC exam, Go to cpaexamtutoring.com and get yourself on I-75 with me, Darius Clark, where the right teacher makes all the difference.